Hello everybody, I'm Sammy from HackerBad.net and today I'm going to show you how to use a Game Killer APK to hack mobile games on your Android device. If you want to get this app, you can find a link in the description of this video or you can just go to Cheatware.net and download it there. Whatever floats your boat and I'll see you guys right now. And after you've installed Game Killer, you're going to want to have a game that you, you can actually hack. Preferably a game where you can see your money or your gems or your health or your skill points or whatever so that you can use a game killer to scan your game for that value narrow down the list of values and then change the value that is how you hack values or numbers if you will using game killer in this case we're going to hack our dna or adn in spanish it's at eight so we're going to go into game killer we're going to enter eight go for auto identify as that data type if you don't know any better just go for auto it'll take a little bit more resources but you'll definitely find your number all right so we're searching right now it's gonna find a lot of values probably a few thousand yeah it's about what six six hundred thousand or sixty thousand so we're gonna narrow down that list by going back into the game changing the value through gameplay or other means whatever need to if you need to take damage or whatever do that okay the value is now at nine we're gonna scan again for nine this will narrow down the list to only 136 values we're going to repeat that until we're left with under 10, ideally. Now our DNA is at 10. We're going to enter 10 to narrow down the list a little bit more. Okay, now we're probably below 10 values, but we want to narrow down just a little bit more because it's so easy. Uh, now, if you have 10 values and you can't narrow it down, you can change all 10. That works too. All right, so we're just going to wait for the value to change again. Now it's at 11. And after that, we're just going to go into G into Game Killer and change the value. Okay, 12, scan again. Now it's two values, and we're just going to try changing those right now. Okay, um, just go for the first, tap it, change the value below, and enter whatever you will. You can go for 99999, you can go for 1.2 million, whatever. In this case, I think we're going for 1.2 million, and we're applying that by going for OK. And yeah. It worked, as you can see in the background, our DNA value has changed, or ADN value in Spanish, and we can now uh, get our virus overpowered, okay? We can just use that. This is basically skill points, as you have seen it in other games, and now we can just essentially have unlimited skill points by changing that value and upgrade our virus in this case to infinity and beyond. All right, and this will work in games where you can see your XP, your uh, money, your gems, your skill points, your whatever, your item stacks. However, it will not work on online games, see? So if you turn your phone into a flight mode, which means it can't connect to the internet and the game doesn't work, then chances are your game is an online game that stores all these values, such as your money and gems and so on, on the game servers those games cannot be hacked using game killer or any other offline tool sadly enough however any single player game can be hacked using game killer anyways guys i hope this tutorial helps you guys you can find game killer as i've already said at the link in description of this video and that is all you need to know about game killer now if you're looking for a version of this that doesn't require a root i highly recommend you get hackerbot apk it allows you to easily find modded apks which allow you to cheat in your android games without needing a rooted device game killer of course requires a rooted device or an emulator so that is what i would recommend if you don't want to root your phone either get yourself an emulator install game killer or use hackerbot apk and just search for your game right here in our free finder uh, for example clash of clans mod apk and of course, modded APKs don't require any sort of root, most of them anyways. So you can just download the APK, install it, and you will have the game of your choice with mods installed. Anyways, guys, I hope this has helped you. You can find HackerBuddy BK at the link in description. You can find GameKiller at the link in description. And I'll see you guys next time.